Libra. Oh, Libra. What's up, Libra gang? What's popping? It's the of the life of a Libra for mid-month May until the end of this motherfucker. So we roll up into June in the summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> If don't nobody feel me, Libra feels me. Because you guys, I'm ready, ready. You understand? Hey, boo, hey. Is this your first time you're on my channel? I'm Oka. Also, if this your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading on YouTube that can better assist you. Because the way I'm set up, <laughs> I'm going to do that, okay? Um, To all of my new subscribers, new family, what's up, baby? What's up? Uh, you guys, we don't fight and fuss on this channel. We need that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do grow. We share. We evolve. We may cry sometimes because, you know, but positive vibes only, okay? We one big happy family. We're trying to subscribe us. What had happened was, for the first half of May, y'all, my eye. Look at the big, my eye is okay. I can see you now. At first, it looked like somebody punched me in it. Y'all know I could not roll out with that little insecurity. It just wasn't going to happen. So, you know, I had to get my shit together. If don't nobody understand about getting your shit, Libra understands about getting your shit together. Okay? Um, You guys, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description below. In the month of June, go ahead and get y'all readings in. I'm going to throw a whole bunch of specials up there too because in the month of June, I have other things that I have to, you guys, I, I, it's about growth, okay, um, so I am going to have to put y'all videos together as air signs, I am going to bust y'all up though, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you know, I'm going I'm to bust it up, you know, I'm going to give everybody the individual messages, but I'm going to have to not make 12, instead make 4, um, and most likely, the, the kicker is I'm going to be live, so the thing is, <laughs> it helps me to actually interact with everybody, still get Q&As up, and still be able to, you know, interact with you guys more while still expanding on things and other business ventures that I'm tied into um, moving forward. So, you guys, it's about growth, okay? That said, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, and we're going to rock and roll, okay? We're going to rock out with our cock out. If you ain't got no cock, you're the cookies, okay? Let's roll it. All right. So we're going to start off with the intuitive messages for the sign of Libra. You guys, definitely, uh, I got a disclaimer. You wouldn't think I have to say this, but I got to say this shit. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try to make it fit. Yeah, it's going to fall. I can guarantee fucking it. So don't do it. Okay? Don't get in the comments with, it wasn't that, it was the other way around. You know your shit better than me. Okay? Fix it. Just switch it up. All right, let's roll. So your intuitive messages for mid-month May is reconsider wealth, forgiveness, step outside of it, legacy, prioritize, interpreter, diet change, ancestors, compromise, pride, divine union, plot twist, Unexpected, spiritual protection, past life, spiritual gifts, awakenings, independent, dreams, travel, synchronicities, warnings, investments, collaborations, suspicious behavior, spying, chemistry, back and forth, arguments, institution. Time sensitive, uncompromising, take back your power, legalities, balance, faded events, creativity, and life path. Okay? Y'all had my ad. Look here. <laughs> Y'all had me working. Okay? Shit. Y'all got some good shit going on, Libra. So if these intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is your reading. All right? So let's get into it. The overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of May, mid-May, is, you guys, this is the damn light bright as shit. <laughs> when you get a spotlight and a slight light, okay, you guys got the 10 of um, spades, okay? So for some of you all, some of y'all I'm literally hearing endings and beginnings. I don't know 
who the hell is listening to this, okay? Um, this I'll take you guys take this a Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus, okay? I have two songs for you guys that keeps playing over and over again. The first one is that um torn in between the two. Cause I really wanna be with you, but something's telling me I should leave you alone. So I don't know if someone's listening to the toy like you. And I also hear, um, even though I'm in the streets, you know exactly what I do. When I chase this paper, you ain't got a way for me to bring it back home to you. Cause I'll ride or die. Girl, we gon' be good, and if you ride or die, we gon' make it out this hood. That's Ace Hood and Trey Songs, y'all. That used to be my ish back in the day. <laughs> you know, so you guys, I don't know if this is going to resonate with the song choice, but you guys, those two songs randomly out of nowhere. And so that is going to resonate with some of you all, okay? So I definitely, I'm hearing endings and beginnings. So some of you all may be in this space of ending something in order to begin something. And I definitely feel it. Wasn't, wasn't it you guys? I, I don't know, was it April? Or mid-April, I named your video Sacrificial Games. I got to go back in my notes. But I named your video Sacrificial Games, and that's the energy that I'm feeling. It's, it's, it's like an even exchange to bring balance and to, like, to restore your world with balance. I'm feeling the energy of someone being desperate, like desperate for peace. A lot of you all are in the play in this place of trying to find this stillness, trying to find your truth, trying to find where your values lie, trying to make uh, the proper decisions as far as it pertaining to your children, what you're going to leave back behind, where it is that you're investing your time. A lot of you all are in this space of don't do it, reconsider, read some leather, you know, shoe on the subject, you shoe a nigga, fuck it, you know. A lot of you guys are really needing to come out of your shell and be very open to... Um, don't look at it from telling people. Look at it from a space of, I ain't telling people my damn business. Look at it from a space of allowing someone to be there for you like you be there for others. Because everyone has everyone has that right to be happy and everyone has the birthright of being fulfilled. And with that fulfillment comes your, your, your tribe. You understand comes the people that's supposed to be in your life. So right now, Libra, if you're feeling that people are not there for you or you're feeling that, you know, you're constantly overextending yourself, but you don't feel as if you're receiving that equilibrium as far as a relationship or that receptivity back, you're needing to kind of draw back your energy during this time and not look at it from a space of flame, but look at it from a space of reflection as in go back and reflect over your damn past, your past, your past before moving Make any any forward movement on your path forward. Go back and reevaluate. A lot of you guys are going back and reevaluating your past and kind of seeing and like it's kind of like comparing things. You know, well, damn, this is a pattern. You know, I find myself continuously being in codependent relationships. Okay, well, I find myself uh, continually attracting um, someone that either has issues with communicating with me like so this has to go further than me because we all know that we are what we attract right okay so with that said it's about not pointing the finger during this time but taking a deeper look stepping outside of your emotions and your attachments to any relationships situationships um particular um beings as far as your domain you know where it is that you give your energy into building. Some of you all are being questioned or being called to question during this time the solidity of the foundations that were truly built. Not what is perceived on the outside, but what is truly within the inside. Okay? That's going to resonate with you all. Uh, for some of you, and it may not resonate with others, but that's the strong energy that is coming. Um, that's radiating from you guys' energy right now. <clears throat> so, you know how we get down. Messages come from the Doreen Virtue Archangel Oracle deck, all right? So, what you guys got, your first messenger, messenger, message is counselor. Archangel Azrael. 
You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, thank, thank you, Spirit. Some guys are being called to actually move towards some type of spiritual practice. Some of you guys are dream interpreters. Some of you guys are, are, are Reiki healers. Some of you all are needing Reiki healing due to your attachments to negative energies and not giving yourself that time and space to truly heal. Some of you all, this Scorpio full moon is truly going to be bringing, up, bringing about emotions for some of you all that you don't really, you didn't really realize that were lying dormant. But I definitely feel like there's a massive purging that's going on. And for some of you all, I'm, I'm hearing that with the Jupiter influence as well as the Plutonic influence, there's a need for Libras to hold their temper because I definitely I'm hearing pressure bus pipes. So some of y'all may spaz during this time and we're needing to for you to bring it, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. We need it for you to bring it back. And in order to prevent you from spazzing, let's take a look. Let's let's be willing to take a deeper look and not just the light aspect of ourselves and where we're trying to go. Because how the hell are we going to get to where we got to go if we still got missing missing center blocks that we got to walk on in order to, 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 to reach, in order in order for us to move wholeheartedly along our path? How the hell you just, you, you can't just jump over pieces of life. You can't jump over certain lessons and expect for you to get here. Because that's the reason why you're here now. Plutonic energy with it being a retrograde has to do with past life energy, death, the afterlife, reincarnations, soul contracts. So you can't prevent the inevitable and you can't control other people. You can solely control yourself and you can solely control the energy that you guys allow to come and impact your space during this time. Some of you guys are really needing to push pause on what everybody else got the fuck going on. And focus on being strategic and methodical about where it is, where it is, where you see yourself. Write down your affirmations. Put your manifestations out there. Utilize, utilize the ability to manipulate the energy that's going. Because Saturn ain't nothing but Big Daddy. Saturn is coming back to say, what have you done? Where are your seeds? What have you sown? Because you can't have one without the other. Saturn and Jupiter is like they go together. Okay, you can't have one without the other. One is a teacher, one is a reward. With Uranus in transit, your your spiritual sector is definitely going to be the mass focus during this time. And for some of you all, your your passion, your purpose, as well as your life path, wholly results in you living your full truth. Not afraid of how the outside world is going to perceive it. And for some of you all, there may be some type of um. For some of you all, there's this energy um, of some type of expansion or some type of balancing of the sacral chakra during this time. Y'all really need to get out. Some of y'all need to get by water. So if you've been feeling it, go to the beach, you know, with it getting warmer. It's, it's time for you to get by water or get in some water. Some of y'all um, maybe need to take a spiritual bath during this time. And again, I feel like it has to do with your external. You're like a sponge. <clears throat> some of you all are empaths, so you may uh, be wanting to take some time in solitude and get away. Just express yourself in, in your truths. Don't feel bad for doing something for yourself because you, you become accustomed and fixed in the way of doing things for others all the time. Some of y'all need to need to open, openly admit that you are addicted to being needed. Some of y'all are you you need to be needed. And I don't know if you and I, I don't know if you are if you ever perceived it that way. But take it how it resonates. I allow spirit to use me. <clears throat> some of you all, some of you all have the gift of healing when it comes to expressing, speaking. Some of you all want to be public speakers, and some of you all may want to start your blog, may want to start a blog, or some of you all may want to start some type of um service, some type of healing service. But whomever I'm connecting with, your gift is like extremely rare. Some of you all, um, I'm hearing reversal, reversal potions. So for some of you all who are white witches, uh, some of you guys may be um, wanting to assist people who are victims of black magic. Come on, somebody. Come to Libra. And some of you all are also channel sources. You you kind of being pulled if you if you're having this niche if you want to start a YouTube channel if you want to start a beauty channel you're being pulled towards your path which is serving others but first in order to find that balance within itself because if you ain't right you can't get nobody else there right and your truth your authenticity 
your the alignment starts within the self. Can't nobody help you get that. Okay. The next message that you guys got is clairvoyance. That was my spiritual gifts. Archangel Raziel. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay. So some of you all, I feel that the heavenly love has to do with we were made in the image of God. Because I'm here, we were made in the image of God. So I definitely feel like that love is actually the love within self first. Because that vibration will extract that to others. And again, we are what we attract. So some of you may be in that space now, especially between now and the end of May. And I definitely feel like you may see shifts in your surroundings. You know, people are uncomfortable by your growth. People are uncomfortable at the fact that things that once bothered you, things that once rattled you, things that once you learn how to balance your fucks during this time. And just only focusing solely on your spiritual abundance and your seeds that you plan to sow, that you have sown and focusing on. Spreading unconditional love, but that starts within the self. And ensure that your relationships, every relationship, even friendships, are equal give and take. Because there's this, you guys, some of you guys are literally receiving, you're going to be in the space of receiving dreams. Some of you all, there's this sense of like alignment. Some of y'all have, um, some of you all have divine intervention. When it comes to mending, I'm hearing mending fences, okay? And I'm also hearing family. So for some of you all, pay attention to synchronicity during this time. Some of you guys, your spirit guide is trying to actually, like, introduce themselves. Some of you guys may feel a disconnection from your spirit guide. Some of you guys are getting new spirit guides as well. Some of y'all actually may... um the, some of you guys may actually be experiencing some type of like receiving your information in a premonitory way, like it's coming in permanent. Like for those of you who were once dreamers, you may have the gift of premonition, and they're wanting you to know that you're being pulled and gravitated to use that gift in order to assist others. Okay. Lastly, some of you all um, are, some of y'all, y'all crown chakra may be a bit overly active during this time. There's a need for you to connect with um, the nine, I believe it's the 963 hertz, the God frequency for those of you who meditate. Some of you all may also be dealing with like relapsing as far as um, I'm hearing relapse and I also heard rehab. So I have um, um, some of you guys may uh, all, some of y'all may also be checking yourself into rehab during this time or someone around you within your energy or someone who have possibly gone to some type of rehabilitation. Someone's relapsing. So if you're dealing with someone who had a drinking problem or a problem, I'm hearing uh, cocaine. Uh, y'all know I don't judge, but you know I'm going to keep it funky. Okay. So if someone was doing um with, with, with snorting cocaine, then this person could possibly, if you've been having financial issues, you could find out that this person is relapsing, okay? So that could also have endings and new beginnings. And for some of you all, these, these new beginnings are rapidly happening because there's some type of divine union that's trying to come together here as well, I'm hearing. And for some of you all, this has to do with you gaining a, a greater perspective because for some of you all, this has affected your confidence, okay? which is kind of keeping you stagnant if, if, instead of moving forward on your, your dreams, your ambitions, the things that truly matter to your soul, your soul's path, because you're kind of stuck on what can be done or what hasn't been done. It's like overthinking on, you know, how you can fix it, 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 fix it. Some of y'all are having to accept the fact that you can't turn shit into sugar. Sorry. The next message that you guys receive is relationship harmony. I heard family. Archangel Ragnar. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflict are being resolved now. I heard surrender and I also heard family. Some of you all, um, some of y'all, if you, if, if some of you all who are dealing with some type of abuse, some type of, I'm hearing gossip, rumor, 
Uh, I'm also hearing dark magic, okay? I'm also hearing um prevention. I heard it has been it has been broken, it has been done, it has been cut. Some of you all may have someone coming to literally surprise you. And there's a need I'm I'm feeling the energy of like either closure, some type of closure or some type of shift that is occurring that is going to bring some type of harmony to some type of family dynamic for some of you. Some of y'all could also be uh, going through divorce and actually come to terms with your partner that, you know what, this is not what I want to do. You know, that time apart made me realize that I love you. I don't I don't want to go anywhere. I want to build, you know, on my family. But there were certain things about, you know, the relationship or the, certain things about you that made, that triggered things within me that I still needed to heal. You guys are actually coming together and that can also be the rehab. Some of y'all can also be going to some type of couples therapy. There's a need for you guys to use your throat chakra during this time. Speak up, Libra. Speak up. No more holding shit and just acting accordingly or, or, or just, you know, having this poker face. I definitely feel like there's an energy of not letting the left hand know what the right hand going to do, especially when it comes to your financial matters. Trust your instinct. If you felt as if a relationship or some type of partnership or collaboration was off, like if you wanted to go into business with someone and there's something that you built the first damn time about that person, trust yourself. Speak your truth. Tell the motherfucker, well, I don't think I want to go into contract with you because uh, you fucked up with money. You, you have horrible balancing skills. Your checks and balancing systems is fucking off, okay? I, nah, I don't think I want to do the whole roommate thing, you know. Um, you nasty, and I got OCD, and that's just a fight waiting to happen, you know. Um, just be, be standing in your truth. Unfucking apologetically. Okay? People that are supposed to be there, they will. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? Some of my Venus, as well as the cross watchers in love. For the three of swords wanted to turn around. Some of my Venus in love. For mid month May. For my Libras expecting love. Yeah, for some of you all, again, solitude, okay? Some of you all are stepping, stepping back, stepping outside of a situation. In order to gain a different perspective, some of you all, some of y'all could be separated from the sign of Virgo or just. Mm -mm. Nine nah, is about expansion. Some of you guys are being enlightened. There's something, this Scorpio full moon, it's, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm hearing the shadows, okay? So information may be coming out of the shadows. This may be a person coming out of the shadows, especially if you are connected to the sign of Virgo, okay? For some of you all, you're really focused on what it is that you want to do, okay? Do I want to be single and, you know, have all these damn options? Okay, or do I just really, do I want to be single and open myself up to dating? Or do I want to just focus on, you know, the spiritual aspect of me and focus on, building a relationship with me, focus on healing, okay? I feel like this is more so connected to um, that codependency that I was speaking about, okay? For some of you all, you've been manifesting some type of solitude. For some of you all, some of y'all, some of y'all could want to manifest a relationship possibly with a Virgo, Capricorn, Swords, with this Queen of Pentacles, but for some of you all, who have been trying to manifest a pregnancy as well or manifest some type of business venture, I definitely see that you're going to get your wish, okay? For some of you all, you, some of y'all are separated from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely feel like there's an energy of one person focused on the love aspect and somebody else focused on just money, 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 money. And it... it and a conversation needs to be had. I feel like you guys are not really saying anything as far as it pertains to how you feel. And some of you guys are just using like your job, your work, or whatever it is that you do as an outlet to just like cover up the real issues. You know, you're focusing on money. That, it's like a big ass elephant in the damn room and y'all acting like you don't see the motherfucker. I mean, it's just jumping up and down like, you see me, bitch. And you just, you just acting like you don't see it. And the spirit is saying... What's faded is faded. You guys got to get real with yourself. For some of y'all, this is about light being shed on the motherfucker who like, 